Whether you like it or not, AI or artificial intelligence is gonna change the way that we use our phones. And none of that is more obvious than right now. We've got tons of image editing time savers and learning tools to choose from. The good news is though, that there are plenty of other mobile apps to get you started right now. And so here are some that you definitely need to take a look at. And the bonus is that most of these are gonna be absolutely free to use. We're definitely not messing around here as home and family organization is made easy with applications like Rejoy. This is a little family planner with a little bit of AI baked in to help you get advice, updates, and just generally aid running a common regular household. ChatGPT powers the life assistant feature, which is the core selling option here, and it helps create agendas, messages, or emails. And it's just useful for lifestyle planning, like getting diet friendly recipes or even creating meal plans from scratch. You can use ChatGPT to help automate things that might often take you hours of planning, like I said, dealing with recipes for fussy kids or getting advice on at-home DIY projects you need to take care of and just don't know how to get started. All of this functionality is completely free on top of the AI stuff and it's a solid task management application of its own with a calendar app baked in with full collaboration options once you do send out invites. It's definitely worth a try for hectic households with a little bit of AI baked in to just simplify and streamline. Elsa is a one-on-one -on -one AI tutor with Taylor and contextual learning for English language learners out there. You might not become fluent overnight by using this, but with five free lessons per day, even if you're a competent English speaker, you can actually own your speech with this application. The paid plan does start at $11.99, which is a little bit pricey, but it does give you access to practice courses for certification tests and a comprehensive learning plan thrown in. That said, the free plan is a great way to improve your basic grasp of common and important English language concepts, making it worth a try if you are learning English as a second language. So MemeCam is not really an application in the traditional sense, it's actually just a web page slash web application that lets you take a picture or upload one from your phone, then that image is analyzed and that classic impact font that you've seen on meme, countless memes across the internet and the caption is added to your picture. You can save these or share them, but just seeing the captions thrown up by AI is actually half the fun here and some of them are quite hilarious. I'm impressed with how well this can actually detect or identify things in the image itself, which makes it especially impressive for a free tool. And I'd love to see this developed out into something else. That said, it's definitely fun for throwing memes or creating memes from just generic images you might have on your smartphone. We've all seen just how good Dali can be at generating images from text prompts, and doing the same for video often isn't free and is more difficult. That said, Xeroscope is one such example that lets you create what I'd consider nightmare fuel from text to video prompts. The processing can take up to a minute and even longer for some actual in-depth prompts that you might have typed, but you'll get a short three second clip using stable to fusion. I find that the end result definitely resembles a little bit of a dream sequence in that it's not quite re realistic to live but the results can vary quite a bit and it's fun to play around with if you do have an active imagination. I would admit that you're not gonna create masterpieces, but it is a fun tool to play around with and showcases just what AI text to video might be capable of in years to come. And that said, you may be able to make some neat social content with this. Definitely don't be expecting the most accurate results though. While we've listed a few AI art generation tools, I'm kind of on the fence about this as a, is it really art if it's just created from a text prompt? Either way, you can have some fun with Wombo's free plan, which lets you do tons of cool things like edit existing images or create things from scratch based upon your prompts or preferred output style, be that anime, be that realistic photos, be that paintings. There's a lot of options for you to choose from even without a premium plan. Like all AI art tools, the results sometimes leave a lot to be desired and fine tuning your input commands is definitely integral to getting the best final image output. The free tier is probably gonna be enough for most of you out there and there are doesn't actually appear to be a limit on the volume of images you can generate per day. Reference images definitely help get the best result here, but with detailed prompts, you can get usable images without needing to use that paid or access a paid subscription tier. So it's definitely one to try out if you're new to this and want to get started with Stable Diffusion right there on your mobile. Socratic is an excellent educational app direct from Google and it lets you take a picture of a piece of homework that you're having issues or trouble with. The application then finds the resources to help you solve this problem. And its aim is not to solve it for you, but to help teach you the concept. So that means it won't do your homework for you, but it's definitely something to try out if you're still studying. You can ask it questions 
questions about the subjects it supports and it'll use online resources to tell you the answer much like how today's chat gpt bots actually do that it's way ahead of its time and we think google will eventually migrate this over to bard when it's ready it's definitely a prime candidate for it so gpt4 is one of the most powerful ai models and it's baked into bing now it can definitely feel a little bit less human in its responses but it's when you pair it with things like the bing image creator that the bing chat tool within the browser actually becomes one of the super cool and the most usable tools out there the biggest stumbling block has always been trying to get away from google and chrome for search that said i do think there is enough added value here to make it worthwhile at least as an install on your mobile you can do lots of things like interlinking tasks something that not all other ai chatbots and services can actually do gpt4 responses can take a little longer to access once you've enabled it but the results are often way better than comparable services and citations are also given within a response which breeds further trust in this tool i think being able to create things like spreadsheets and usable code for your mini projects or even your long-term projects will no doubt help you be more productive and even helps you with tasks that you simply wouldn't know how to do for yourself. This is the most comprehensive of any of these on this list. It does a lot more than just giving you answers. So on Pixel phones, you may have heard of the Google Recorder application. It's definitely a must for contextual recordings, but for other smartphones, Otter AI offers quite a bit more functionality. The AI in this application can be used to transcribe your meetings really accurately, by the way, up to 300 minutes per month for free in 30 minute increments, which sounds a bit confusing. That basically means 10 30 minute sessions free per month. I have to admit, in my experience, it's super accurate for transcribing conversations even with multiple people with very few errors or exceptions. I will say though, I'm more inclined to use Google Recorder on Pixel as similar functionality is set to be coming or at least has been promised and it will give you access to free backups to your Google Drive account if you do want that. That said, Otter AI is a solid alternative with a decent free offering that you shouldn't pass up if you haven't tried it already. The most obvious AI powered tool for your smartphone and last but not least is ChatGPT. This dedicated application is the OG AI or large language model to most people out there. ChatGPT is a no-nonsense tool to get information on a subject, but it's not perfect in its current incarnation like most of the applications I've mentioned. But that said, it's still a solid place to start if you don't know how AI might help you in your day-to-day -day job or your day-to-day -day existence. It's completely free, so it's definitely worth a try and works a lot like a text messaging application, which means you can just ask messages and get that in a chat log. The best thing here is that you can save previous conversations if you log in or create an account. It's super helpful for breaking down complex concepts, which is one of the reasons why I would suggest doing this, and it's something I use this application for the most. So that's some of the best AI tools that you can use on mobile right now, be that Android or iOS. And I wanna ask you, do you have any of your own that you simply cannot live without? Share your favorites down in the comment sections below. Cheers for watching, hopefully this has been helpful, and I will catch you in the next one.